Hey guys, what's up? Tom for here. Now in this video, we are gonna learn like what are the mistakes that I do in the lane. So these mistakes will help us to not repeat them in the next game, and we can be a much better player in the next game. I tend to do a lot of mistakes and I learn from them, and that is how I improved overall my game. And so in the past one month, I've climbed over 800 MMR. I was a 6.1k player. Now I'm 6.8k, and I've been learning from my mistakes like this and not repeating them. So in this video, I'm going to tell you like, what are the mistakes, what I could have done better and how can I not repeat them again. Now, if you see this clip, now this Oracle is way too far here. He's trying to right click me, but he respects my clips here. And for that reason, he backs out here. So I'm just standing here in the middle. So I don't get harassment. Like if Oracle wants to come to hit me, he will have to come very close here and I'm staying behind here. This is like the optimal position for me because I'm standing behind an ice talker also and I can harass the void also from here. And now I'm seeing that the oracle is a little bit out of potions and I get level 2 here and I try to go on him. I try to go on him and here's where the mistake comes like I go to right click him and I use my stun as well as the mana den at the same time. Yeah. So this was the mistake here. I used both the spells together here. Now the reason why this is a mistake because void has time dilation and the time dilation punishes you a lot. Since I am lion and I use both my spells together, I don't have any further control and Night Stalker has a void but it is not enough. But this was like bad initiation on him because it was just to cheap harass him. You can see as soon as I used both the spells, void says that I don't have any spells on lion so he has come to harass me and because of that, he comes very close to me. He uses the time dilation and I can't fight back at all because time dilation is a very shit skill and it's one of the most broken skill in the game at level 1 and 2. It does movement speed and attack speed slow. So if you use your two spells, then you have like 20 attack speed slow and 20% movement speed slow. So you can't really fight them back because of this. And then you don't have any spells because your spells are not going to come off cooldown because this time dilation slows your cooldown progression. And because that void just mans up to me, look at this. Void is just manning up to me and trying to hit me. And Oracle used Fortune's End with the blood grenade and I'm very slow right now. Look at my movement speed. I'm like 188 movement speed. I can't even outrun them. I can't even outdo the damage because I can't even hit them. So with this, void is able to punish me because I used both the spells together. If you are playing against a void, you should not use both your spells together. If you use both of your spells together, you need to be in a safe position or if enemy is like below half HP, then you can use both of your spells. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Now I die another time in this lane. Let's see how I died. So the creep wave is getting pushed and now it's very important to know where the creep wave is. An oracle is playing here and oracle actually comes to play around me I think here because he wants to get a wrap around, around the night stalker and I'm staying here to block the oracle to, from coming to the night stalker to harass him and if oracle is playing in this dark region he will get punished a lot because I can just right click him from here to here so I'm staying here to protect this night stalker and oracle comes too close to me and I should have not done this I think I used the mana drain and one more mistake of me was that I scaled two points in the mana drain instead of the one point in the hex now level 1 hex is very good because it is 2 second hex duration more than your odd spike but this was kind of mistake I think at level 3 I should take the hex I did the mistake of sucking this guy way too early like I just started to suck him here and look at what void is doing void is just walking up to me he's ignoring the night struggle here oracle uses the fortune end and look how void positioned himself like he positioned himself behind this so I can't get a 2 man stun off and this confuses me here so if void was like at this side, I could have done a two-man stun here and walk away like this. Void is this side and this ruins me because I don't have the hex also. I tried to man fight him up here because the time dilation is used on me and the blood grenade is also used. And I got a lotus and a wand. So I can actually try to man fight here and I do that. So with the nice shocker here, I try to man fight him. I use my magic wand here. I'm almost gonna die. I use my lotus here but it is not enough. And with the purifying flames, they get a kill on me here. Void just time walks it off because he did not use a time walk to come here. He just walked up to me. So this was another case. I was like out of position. Night Stalker is a very bad hero in the daytime. So I should have rather played safe during the daytime. I should have not fought them in the daytime. Like I should have been more chill. So these are like my mistakes in the laning stage. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys learned something today. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.